Hello everyone, Red Recon here, and today I'm just going to be talking a little bit about the Nuka World trailer that came out. It does look pretty cool, so if you haven't seen it yet, please go out and watch it for yourself before you watch this video. So, anyways guys, I hope you enjoy, and let's get right into it. Now, one of the funny things I saw in this trailer was when it's first, like, introducing everything with the cinematic clips and showing all the buildings and how cool Nuka World looks, it looks amazing and it seems like a whole new city and stuff, but it's actually not. It's infested by enemies in the Commonwealth now. These raiders and stuff, they don't seem to be hostile because you can actually become a raider gang leader or just like a part of one, which I think is pretty cool. So obviously it is a city, but there's a lot of enemies like ghouls and stuff like that. As you can see in that shot, there's a lot of people just walking around. So that's why I think they're friendly and stuff like that. But there's a lot of cool things that we're going to discuss today that I saw in this trailer. One of the first thing I noticed was the intro introduction of the AK-47 or something like it. As you can see, all the raiders are holding AK-47 type weapons now. I don't know if they are exactly AKs because it does look a little bit like one of those FAL weapons, FALs, so I'm not sure, but it looks a lot like an AK-47 and I don't know where I saw it, but I actually did see AKs in Fallout. Someone was holding them during a Nuka, uh, not a Nuka World, a vault Tech DLC, like walkthrough which that probably was a mod but I was a little interested in that and I saw that in this trailer and I thought that was pretty cool so a bit later on you can see the raiders actually rushing sanctuary across that bridge and once you get inside sanctuary you can see them putting up a flag called like a raider signal kind of flag thing so that's how I kind of think that you can make a settlement for your raiders or your raider group, whatever you're a part of, whatever you're leading, so it's pretty cool and obviously you can bring them to the commonwealth itself instead of just staying at Nuka World, which I mean, being the last DLC I'm probably going to spend the most time there, but anyways, I just thought that was pretty cool because that adds a lot of different ideas that you could add to your settlements. Obviously in this trailer I can see a lot of evidence of like mini games and rides and all kinds of stuff like that Which I'm wondering if you can actually win prizes and stuff like that and what they will be They're gonna probably be like some sort of weapons or armor by these raider groups and stuff infesting this area But it looks pretty sick because I'm pretty sure that all the mini games I've seen in the trailer are interactive And all these lands have a different theme and different games that go with a the theme So I'm pretty excited for that which probably probably adds a different perspective on what you can do inside of Nuka World actually and obviously we also saw at that red rocket a settlement mode area that you can actually build a settlement at which I am very excited for. I hope there's actually more than one but even if there isn't at least you can build inside of Nuka World. So I also do notice that there's a lot of ghouls running around in this trailer and they're like multicolored and stuff like that which I found pretty weird but I think there's some sort of pattern to them that goes with a game or a mini game something like that that you hunt them or put them in like cage fights or something like that that's just my ideas but they're different colors I don't know if I'm drinking the Nuka Cola if they're that color something like that but that was just my idea and anyways guys Nuka World is so massive from what I can see honestly if you look at the part where it raises over like the Nuka World entrance with all the people walking around, if you look way back there, that the place is huge. There's going to be so many things you can do for this DLC and stuff like that. We've seen so many cool new things that haven't even been introduced in the past in any Fallout game ever including just like AK-47 like I'm that obviously I'm not like super hyped for it like that's the best thing about the DLC but that's a gun that's never been in the game and I wonder why because during that time that's when it was actually at its prime mostly. Obviously it's not clear what the antagonist, protagonist, stuff like that is in this DLC but I did see a magician or something like that disappear in one of the clips and I don't know if that has anything to do with like a protagonist or antagonist or something like that in this DLC but it does look very very different than anything we've ever seen in the game so there's reason to think that 
that might be one of the main characters in the game. Now, it was for like a quick little second, but it was pretty obvious that that was some sort of magician that disappeared out of nowhere. So I want to take the time to thank all of you guys for watching my analysis today. I hope you guys are as excited as I am for this DLC. Leave down below what you think, and I hope you guys are really hyped for it. And I'll have another video out on my concept ideas on what a raider settlement would look like, something like that, in the future. So thank you for watching, leave a like, comment, and if you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.